Watching the evolution of hitting and how we teach hitting has really changed a lot, and I really feel for the better. Baseball is a game that I believe is more like life than any other sport that you could possibly pick up and play. If you're good at baseball as a hitter, you fail seven out of ten times. And that's if you're really good. There's a hand-eye coordination involved in being a baseball player that's different than anything other. You have to learn how to hit. There's a difference between knowing how to swing and knowing how to hit. As a hitter, what's the most important pitch? The next pitch. Fear, anxiety, and worry are the chains of failure. Positive instructional self-talk and visualization. That is how to succeed. I've seen kids with bad swings mechanically, but because they know how to be on time or they know how to be in sync with the pitcher or because they know how to have a rhythm with the game, they still find a way to get back to ball uh, consistently. Don't for one second think if you're a smaller guy that you can't be a serious offensive threat at the plate. Why aren't you working on your mental game? Because I guarantee you, your competitor is. Then to be successful and compete, you gotta do it under stress. So then in itself, there's a difference between practicing and training. 75% of your time, you by yourself. Well, Coach CJ, I don't know if I can do that. We don't expect to get any hits. There is no perfect way. There's only your way and the way that's working for this individual, and that's what we gotta find. You do need to work smart, but there, there are no shortcuts in this game. You gotta go up there with the mindset to make something happen. You got to believe that no one can beat you.